What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to do a little Q&A from like an ask me a question poll that I did on my Instagram and we're going to be answering all of the questions that I think is beneficial to my audience to be answering it. So I actually graduated high school one year ago today. That was the photo. I spoke at graduation. It was one of like the biggest events of my life. It was a very surreal moment for how much time and effort I put into the graduation speech. And it eventually all worked out. I, in my opinion, did very good for the speech. I spoke well, I was confident, I was well-spoken, in my opinion, of course, and all the work paid off. So whenever you're going through something where you know you don't feel like doing the work, it's tough, there's days that you, you just wanna sit down, scroll on social media, remember the feeling of when you actually do accomplish your goals and remember the feeling of how good it's gonna feel when all of the work pays off. So I didn't ask me a question, I think two days ago. First question, what's the most I've ever weighed? Probably around 190 pounds. I would say I'm a little under 185 right now. I've been eating a little bit less, but the most I've ever weighed probably within the last six months was probably around 190. I don't like to track my weight because I think that how I look and how I feel matters more than just the weight on the scale. When I'm walking around, nobody knows exactly how much I like. There's, it doesn't say on my forehead, like you weigh 190 pounds, this is how I'm gonna judge you. Like, no. The water that you drink in the morning, whenever you take a, a poop, whenever you go pee, like everything that you do, will dictate the like how much you weigh so it fluctuates throughout the day and throughout the week so i try not to care that much about the exact weight on the scale and i care more about how i feel and how i look say with my clients a lot of clients have weight loss goals and i tell them i care more about how you feel and how you look than just the weight on the scale the weight on the scale is a good in indicator that you're seeing progress in your weight loss journey but it's a lot more than just the weight. What time is best to go to the gym? What is the best time to go to the gym? Whatever works best for your schedule. If you go in the morning and that fits your schedule, you work later in the day, you have school later in the day, it's perfect. If you have school in the morning, if you work in the morning, nine to five, go after work. Whatever fits into your schedule the best and whatever you enjoy it the most because whatever you enjoy whatever makes you want to wake up in the morning and want to go to the gym will help you stay consistent in the long run so there's no perfect time to go to the gym a lot of it is preference and a lot of it is fitting into your schedule that you have on a day-to-day -day basis is sumo cheating I don't know. I don't really care about powerlifting that much, I guess. So that's what they say, right? Poppy, is fasting healthy to lose weight in your perspective? In my opinion, I don't think that you should fast because I think when you first wake up in the morning, you should get some protein in to fuel your body. You should get some carbs in to fuel your body. Imagine you're trying to drive a car you have no fuel, no gas in the tank for that car. Is, is the car gonna run? Is the car gonna be productive? No. In my opinion, when I have food in my system, it fuels my body to perform better in the gym, to perform better making content, to perform better at school. I'm an overall more energized human being when I have fuel in my body. And for fasting wise, I don't like it because if you're fasting, you're going a certain amount of time like without eating, then you're gonna have to eat a good amount of food at once. You're gonna be bloated. You're gonna be a little lethargic after that big meal. I like having like even sized portions of meals throughout the day. So 
specifically looking to bulk, any meals you suggest with high protein? Meals that I eat with high protein, bulk or cut, in the morning I eat an egg, turkey bacon or turkey sausage sandwich with fat free cheese and a bagel. That's what I've been eating recently. Chicken and rice is great, chicken and pasta, steak and rice, broccoli. Dude, any type of protein and carb, lean protein, carb without too much unnecessary fat will do. And a lot of it is what you like to eat because if you like to eat it, more than likely, it's going to help you enjoy what your lifestyle is and it's going to help you want to stay more consistent in your fitness journey. When I commit to my training, should I reduce the consumption of sugar and fast food, right? With this mindset, I don't think that you should go from zero to 100. You should ease your way into training, ease your way into diet, ease your way into eating less sugar, eating less processed foods, ease your way into every single thing. You can't just wake up, next Monday, I'm going to fully change my life around. Next Monday, I'm going to be a whole different person. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Habits take time to develop, it takes work, and more than likely, you're going to fail a few times. You're going to have days where you fail and the habits don't work. And you're going to revert back to your old ways. But you constantly getting better, constantly learning how to overcome those challenges will help you stay consistent over time with like not eating sugar, not eating bad food, staying consistent, going to the gym when you don't feel like it. So ease your way into it. Yes. When you're trying to get in better shape, sugar isn't good for you. Processed foods aren't good for you. Fast food, it's not good for you. But ease your way into it. Don't go from never running in your life to trying to full on sprint your way into your fitness journey. Do you weigh your food? I don't weigh anything. I don't track anything. I intuitively eat and I believe that you can intuitively, I believe that you can intuitively eat too, as long as you're eating decent sized portions, you're not overeating, you're not eat, like putting dressing, like you should still know what you're putting into your body, but I don't think that you have to track everything down to a T to reach your fitness goals. I don't think you have to, but, if you're trying to lose weight and you think that you're in a calorie deficit, but you're not losing weight, you're not in a calorie deficit. I have to sneeze. That's not true. Advice in breaking a weight loss plateau. So there could be three reasons why you're in, you're in a weight loss plateau. Well, I actually scratch that. There's one reason. <laughs> you're not in a calorie deficit. You're eating more foods than you should be eating. or You're eating more calories than you should be eating. Advice in breaking a weight loss plateau, eat less food and move more. Get more steps in throughout the day. Do more activities around the house where you're just moving. Like, start getting alternatives, like if you're eating peanut butter, PB Fit. S dressing, oh, it's not gonna fill you up. Like, start realizing the small things that are adding up, like dressing, crackers, stuff that won't fill you up, but is adding a lot of calories and unnecessary calories to your diet. Like those little things will add up. And obviously, Cardio, make sure that you're doing cardio, make sure that you're doing it intensely, whether it's like biking, cycling, walking, running, elliptical, sports, like whatever you're doing, like do at least 20 minutes a day of like intense cardio. There's a question. Are you taking girlfriend applications yet? I have mine ready to submit. I don't know if I'm taking applications but when the time is right, the Lord will make it happen, indeed. 
Someone said, do you drink on Saturday or are you cold turkey? I've never drank in my life. I don't need to put poison into my body to develop confidence. I develop confidence naturally. And because of that, I don't put alcohol into my body because it's not good for my body. It's not healthy. And I don't believe that I need it to live the life that I want to live for one night and then be hungover and feel like absolute dog shit the next day. It's not the lifestyle I want to live. I don't think you want to live it either. If you are drinking consistently and you know it's bad for you in your heart, stop it, bro. Stop it. That seems about it. I don't want to. I, I I don't want to answer every single question. Some of the questions are just like brain dead questions. But if I I hope y'all enjoy this video. I am actually filming a like what I do on my rest day type of video today. So I'm kind of vlogging for the whole day, and I'm about to hit the hot tub, chill a bit. And this is just your reminder to to take your rest days to. Prioritize your recovery, prioritize your rest, because like when you're in the gym, your muscles are breaking down and then you have to get out of the gym. You have to like take time off, like not days of, upon days upon weeks, but take a day or two off per week. Make sure that you're sleeping so that you're still like energized when you're when you are in the gym, you're energized, you're, you're ready to go 